Hi class, I picked the uh, Jennifer and Alan Bradshaw case study. Here is my um, first half for you guys. Jennifer and Alan Bradshaw have been trying for months to conceive a child on their own. Unfortunately, they have not been able to get pregnant. Jennifer is a 36-year-old African-American woman who has always wanted to be a mom when the time was right for her. She has spent her 20s and 30s focusing on her education and career. She is a clinical social worker. She always thought that she would get pregnant when, the, when she was ready and never thought that she'd have any issues trying to conceive a child. Now that her and her husband are ready to have a baby, they have been, not been successful in getting pregnant. Jennifer is getting more and more frustrated um, that it's not happening for her. She has begun to question herself and gets frustrated when she sees other women and teens that are pregnant instead of her. She is also upset with her husband for not understanding. She has even thought to herself that maybe it's um, her husband's problem and not her own. Due to the comments she faces from family and friends when she is feeling, she is feeling unsupportive, lonely, and frustrated. She tries to escape these situations by avoiding going to things like baby showers. After exhausting all options, the couple has now started seeing a reproductive endocrinologist. The specialist um, had stated that their only option would be IVF. IVF is very expensive. It runs around 16000 per cycle and usually takes at least two cycles to work. The specialist also told her that because of her age, the success rate would be around 35 to 45%. Some states mandate insurance uh, to cover IVF. However, in the state that uh, the Bradshaws live in, insurance isn't mandated to cover IVF. The couple will have to pay out of pocket for all the visits and treatment. Um, they do not have any extra money saved for this, and their parents do not have uh, the means to help them out either. Jennifer and her husband had considered uh, taking out a home equity loan to pay their IVF cycles. Jennifer has tried all other options. Although IVF is both physically and emotionally exhausting, the couple have decided to move forward with their treatment. The couple ha um, hopes that the treatment will work and they you know, want their own biological children or child, but um, they have spoke about adoption if the IVF treatment doesn't work. Jennifer's strengths include decision making, education training, residential stability, job history, resiliency, community connection, and relationships. These strengths were demonstrated through the following examples. After researching and trying all the options, like tracking her basal body temperature, purchasing a high-tech uh, fertility monitor, ovulation microscope, and acupuncture, Jennifer and Alan decided um, they, were, they were still not able to get pregnant, and they had to make the decision that IVF was the best route and would give it three cycles. To see if it would work. Another strength is Jennifer's um, job history and her community connection. Her experience through social work has given her an additional knowledge that she was able to transfer to her problem. This was done um, from her clinical practice and also from her friend circle. Her residential stability has allowed her to take out a home equity loan for the IVF treatment. And her relationship with her husband has given her the ability to communicate how she feels. And uh, they have tried to come up with a solution to her uh, problem, which is the infertility that they're facing. And Jennifer has shown resiliency through, resiliency through all of the different resources. Um, she has tried... Um, I'm sorry. Jennifer has shown resiliency through all of the different resources she has tried to use to solve her infertility problem. She is determined to become a mother and has even made plans of adoption just in case the IVF treatment does not work. This is everything I have for the first half. Uh, thanks for listening.